It has been an emotional week in this community. It all began on an otherwise unremarkable Wednesday. The CBC's Nick Purden now with a timeline of what police say happened. Wednesday, sometime after 5 p.m., 24-year-old Justin Bork signs into what appears to be his Facebook. At 5.37, the last post. Lyrics from this song by Megadeth. <laughs> 6 p.m., Moncton is quiet, as peaceful as ever. The lead story on local newscasts, literally dog bites postal worker. There's two dogs in the area that have been attacking postal workers. In the meantime, Bork leaves his house. 7.30 p.m., the first reports of an armed gunman in a North End neighborhood. He walked right down the middle of the Pioneer. This man, Craig McCarthy, one of the first to see him. He walked straight ahead, and he looked straight ahead, and you could tell he was on a mission. From Pioneer Avenue, it seems the gunman turns left onto Mail Hot. Sleepy, idyllic, until now. Police close in. At 8.22, Nadej Bujo and her husband watch the gunman sneak up on one of the officers. They bang on their window in warning, but it doesn't work. He shot him. Oh, oh my god! god. He shot him. Oh my god, call that a There's actually no way to describe the level of hurt. At 9.15, a simple statement from police. Stay inside. Lock your doors. At 10.54, the worst news confirmed. RCMP's officers were shot and killed. Two other officers were also injured, but their life is not threatened at this time. Night falls, Bork is still out there. People lock themselves in basements, bathrooms, and through the fear and the dark, they talk to each other. I have never felt so genuinely terrified before. I want to go back to being an under the radar town not all over the national news. Thursday morning, the city still in lockdown. Lunchtime on Mountain Road looks like this. Flags at half-mast, flowers at the RCMP. We learn one of the dead officers has three kids. Then a break, or so they think. Police surround a building. I hope the police get him if he's not already caught. But in the end, the gunman isn't inside. A second night, he's still on the loose. Finally, just after midnight, police swarm Michelle Thibodeau's property. Bork is in her backyard. They yelled, come out with your hands up, and they were screaming for about five minutes, and they had their guns loaded. Five minutes later, Justin came out with his hands up, and he yelled, I'm done. After two long days, Moncton finally exhales, and the violence sinks in. Nick Purden, CBC News, Toronto.